All right, guys, so I'm actually getting skunked pretty hard, and all I'm catching are bluefish this size. But here we got like a 14 incher. Uh, we're going to put them in the catch bag. We're going to go back to fishing, but more than likely, the end result of this video is going to be this guy getting fried up some french fries or something like that. So uh, I haven't eaten a bluefish this size in a really long time, so I know the guys that like to catch and cook stuff should like this one. So in the catch bag he goes, and let's tune in. We got our Yozuri deep divers, Harapolis, let's set our drags, cross our fingers, see what we do today. I got my water temperature has dropped significantly. If we get tired, we'll jig up some croaker, whiting, or kingfish, depends what you call them, wherever you're from. Not King Max, King Kingfish. We'll take it from there. Come on, King Kong. Come out and play. Grab some live bait and then just kind of hang out. Don't tell me it's a week. Oh, look at that little croaker. Real small croaker here, man. Mm, I don't even know if I should bother with that second hook. I feel like giving him the freedom to swing, swim is gonna be better. Just kind of keep that second hook free. Seriously? Well. Well. We can't catch the king. And we're going to revisit the catch and cook bluefish. Ah. Fires, fires. Uh, I remember last time we did this and we said we really didn't like bluefish. Well, uh, this is the size I should be keeping, so um, that's what we're going to do. I don't know if that's kings or what. And I don't know where my bait is in the water column. Oh shit. Oh shit. How it goes, right? Please don't be a tax man. Please don't be a tax man. man. Please don't be a tax man. Oh, man. I don't like my position here. I'm gonna straighten out because uh, that's dangerous. I don't like these backward sleigh rides, honestly. I don't know yet. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if we can help this guy out. If he holds still, I could help him. I really don't want to get that other hook in my hand either, so. Um, I'd also like to try to get my treble hook back. Hold still. If you hold still for two seconds, I could help you. I know how Key West kayak fishing feels. Oh. All right. Kingfish! King Kong. We got a king. Oh, we got a king on. Big king. 
Oh, shark. Is that what that was? It was a shark. Spinner shark. Oh, no good. Don't want anything to do with him. Oh, yes, we broke him off. Thank God. Oh, even better, we pulled the hook. Thank God. All right, well, I'm learning here. Uh, this is the learning videos. So uh, instead of just total nothingness, let's go uh, make dinner for lunch. So, uh, we got a couple of things down. We figured out a few things. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, readdress the snapper bluefish. Uh, take it from there, man. All right, so I've made it pretty clear I'm not a big fan of bluefish in general. Um, I always thought the big, big bluefish have a weird texture that's kind of off-putting. Some people love it. Um, it's not for everyone, that's for sure. And it's one of the few fish I don't like. But however, bluefish this big tastes nothing like bluefish that big. And we're gonna prepare this bluefish one of the more classic or traditional ways that I was taught how to prepare bluefish. And that's just basically a whole, we're gonna keep it whole. We're gonna do a pretty heavy frying. We'll serve it like a side of potatoes. Um, it's kind of like a street food type of preparation. And uh, yeah, the smaller bluefish under like 18 inches, it's nothing like the bigger bluefish. A lot of times people, you hear them called snapper bluefish. Um, and that's basically, I guess any bluefish 12 inches or less. And then cocktail, whatever, cocktail bluefish range from uh, 12 inches to probably like 22. Then you have your mid three to five pounders. And then you have the real bigger ones. Um, that's really, <laughs> I guess your breakdown of blue fishing. Um, but uh, we're gonna prepare this um, cocktail slash snapper bluefish a little bit more of a traditional classic way. So check this out. All right, so there's our bluefish. I'm guessing he's like 15 inches, honestly, you know, for this purpose, it's not that important. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna prepare this right now. It's gonna sit overnight. Today we're eating Chinese food or pizza. Uh, all I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to scale it, I'm going to gut it, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it, wrap it in some paper towels, let it firm up a little bit, and we'll take it from there. Um, so to scale this guy, oh Mario, a couple things you did teach me. All right, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to gut him, take out his gills and gut him. All right, so we, we gutted our bluefish. Um, it doesn't smell, it smells like bluefish, man. Bluefish has a certain smell. No matter what, it's got an odor to it. I don't care what anybody says, uh, that's the bluefish smell. Um, some people like that smell, some people don't. Um, it's definitely very distinct. Uh, we're gonna just put some salt on this guy, wrap him in paper towels, and keep him overnight in the container. All right, one last thing we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna take all his spines off so they don't prick prick us at another point. Alright, I made a little cut in here just to show you. Um, this is the color of bluefish flesh. For the guys that don't know, or it's like unlike any other fish. It's this grayish weird color. Um, I don't really know many fish that have that sort of tint or color to them. So this is going to be lunch for tomorrow, right? Um, I couldn't even imagine keeping more than one of these because um, this fish turns really quickly. So, uh, so for example, this is going to be a meal for me. I wouldn't want to be keeping a whole lot of these things. I really wouldn't because uh, they turn quick. All right, so this is all wrapped up uh, and uh, we're going to put it in the fridge overnight. And we'll take it from there tomorrow. All right, we're just going to roast some potatoes right here. Uh, matter of fact, I actually also have some blue crabs. Uh, I went out black drum fishing. Not a bad one. Caught a bunch of black drums, some decent ones. Uh, I had one that might have even been over a, a slot limit. Um, I'm looking for sheep's head, and I haven't been finding a whole lot of sheep's head. Using the, uh, the blue crabs really got in on those black drum real good. I don't have a steaming pot. I'll bake those. 
we got these potatoes, and we even have another black drum, so uh, we're eating a real meal here today. Got some dill weed, mm -hmm. onion powder, paprika. You can put some onions in here if you really want it, but uh, we'll skip the onions. Uh, I feel like black drum is the perfect eating inshore fish around here, man. These fish are so good, and they're widely available. The perfect size to fillet and fry up, um, and that's what we're going to do with this one. I know this is sacrilegious, but we're making these guys in the oven uh, because I don't have a steaming pot yet. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking their shells off. But we need to make them cook quicker, so we're going to just peel the shells off and give it a quick rinse. Okay, for our garlic butter, we're just going to go with four tablespoons of butter. That seems like a lot. I know that seems like a lot, but we're going to add about four cloves of garlic. We're just going to melt this down, get the garlic a little bit brown. We're going to add about a cup of white wine, and then we're going to just um, spoon that over the crabs over there. Yeah, a little salt, even though the butter is salty. A little bit of lemon pepper, and a little bit of red pepper. If you have some fresh herbs, I would use them. Uh, maybe some parsley and uh, thyme, but this is what we got. And we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil to this. All right, meanwhile, we're going to prep our bluefish. Unfortunately, our pan will not accommodate the head, so we're going to go take his head off. We're going to leave the tail so it gets nice and crispy. All right, and for this, I'm just going to go real basic, some lemon pepper. So I'm going to actually put a piece of black drum on there, too, I think. I might should have room for it in this pan. So um, got one piece of drum. Also going to dredge it up. All right, we got a little bit of browning going on the garlic. That's good. We got a white wine here. Gonna save a little bit for the fish. So uh, this is just gonna get spooned on to a degree. I just want enough that I could see on the bottom of the pan. There's enough covering it, so this way it can, when it starts bubbling up in the oven, I'll get that those flavors hitting the other side of the crab too. So I got enough to coat the bottom. Um, next, I'm just going to save a little bit. I'm going to thicken this with a little bit of cornstarch and we'll finish off the fish um, as another like sauce on top of it. Might as well. Alright, we'll give those about 20 minutes each. Alright, we're going to probably do about 5 minutes aside on the snapper or bluefish. And about three minutes aside on the drum. There we go. Not gonna lie, the smell of bluefish in the kitchen is a downer. I had like the crabs going, that smelled good. The drum smells good, but then the <laughs> then the fried bluefish hit. Uh, we'll see that. It's a, like it's definitely an, a strong odor. Just about ready. 150. All right. So first, here's our our black drum and the garlic butter. A little bit of wine in there. Potatoes. Let's get that bluefish out. So we know that's gonna taste good. There's our bluefish. Took a few of these crabs out. They are looking. Pretty, pretty good. I think we're ready to, to eat here. I think we are ready. How good does that all look? Plenty of room for seconds too, man. All right, so we are first going to give the black drum a try. Mm. So last time I made the black drum in the General Tso's. Now just pan fried, sorry. Now just fried with them. Garlic butter sauce, yeah, good fish, man, real good fish. Feel like it's very underrated around here too. Crabs came out nice. I I, I like generally like them a little spicier, but the garlic butter is nice. For people that don't like their crabs like really spicy, this ain't bad. Let's see if the bluefish can handle, can stand up to the challenge of all the other critters we we assembled today. All right, here we go. Here's the bluefish. We had crab, we have black drum, we got potatoes, we got everything. Any fish should be good like this, right? That's the theory. It 
It's not bad. It's not bad. Is it five stars? No. It's not as good as the drum. Still, it's not bad. It's most certainly more edible than the big gator we did. Hey man, some days are the hydrant. I mean, that's what you get, man. You get the bluefish. Yesterday's trip. You know, I got the bluefish. I mean, it's not bad. It cooks up pretty nicely. A uh, hole like this. Like I said, this is a 15-incher. Um, not bad at all. Like, I would do this again like this. You got some pretty good looking. Flesh is good here. Skin is crispy and nice. It's mild. You know, you could put some of this sauce on there too. Just wanted to kind of give the bluefish a try as is. It's a lot better than I, I remember it being. So, that's a plus. Crabs are great. Black drum's great. Well, the bluefish is pretty good, man. Um, yeah, man. I would keep it again like that. I hope this one was enjoyable. I had fun making that. Had a couple people visiting me, so that other black drum's gonna go for them. Put those other crabs in the, the fridge, heat them up. Good stuff, man. Good. Bluefish, yeah, there you go. Yeah, even I like it. That was good. I'll see you guys later. Thanks.